This is November of 2009. We're in the middle of our baseball World Series played by two American teams. I'm not quite sure how we ended up calling it World Series, but whatever. And in baseball, there is a very common dynamic with the coach looking at his pitcher. The pitcher throws a bad pitch, and it becomes a home run for the other team. And the manager has to decide at that moment whether he still believes in the pitcher. Has the pitcher lost his touch? Do we need to remove the pitcher, send in another one? Or will leaving the pitcher in there strengthen him, reinforce him so that he comes back, digs out of the hole, and pitches well to the next player? This is a picture of reconciliation. Where do we have favor? Whenever we sin, whenever we mess up, whenever we've done something wrong, we lose. We lose favor with the person we hurt. We lose favor with those around watching. There's, there's a thousand different areas where we lose favor in our relationships as a result of what we do. And part of reconciliation is watching God restore favor to us in a monumental way. God came to Moses and said, it's like this. I am not only going to send you back, we not only share a common passion here, but you are going to speak to Pharaoh. You, the convicted felon, are going to speak face to face with the Pharaoh and you're going to speak on my behalf. You are going to represent me. I'm going to cause you to be seen in his eyes as a messenger from me. And furthermore, uh, you are going to be speaking to all of the leadership of the Hebrews. You're to gather the elders. I'm going to give you favor in their eyes. Reconciliation, restoration, not just between Moses and God, but Moses said, or God said, rather, I, God, am going to see to it that other people listen to you. You don't have to earn the favor. It's not your job to get an audience. I, myself, God, am going to see to it that you, Moses, have an audience with Pharaoh and with the eldership of the people. I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to give you favor. So what about you? Spirit, my question to you is very simple. Are you experiencing favor after judgment, after forgiveness, that is not explainable in human terms? Are you experiencing favor that you did not pursue? Are you experiencing favor that is not just directly the result of your good work and your conscientious work ethic? Spirit, I invite you to take off any blinders and to look at the panorama of the last few weeks or months and if you see God specifically giving you favor in the eyes of people who theoretically could still be nursing a grudge for what happened back there, then know that this is part of God's reconciliation package. This is part of his drawing you towards the plus 80. This is part of the intimacy that God wants to have for you as he says, watch me, son or daughter. Watch me melt away the hostility from the past. Watch me give you favor you don't deserve, give you favor you haven't earned, give you favor in the present and the future in spite of what happened in the past. God knows about that. God knows there's some boo birds that are going to never forget about that. And he says, I know. And I'm choosing, I am choosing to give you favor because I want to, because it's part of the reconciliation process. Spirit, I invite you to lean into that. I invite you to consciously point them out and say, there, 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 and there. There is no human explanation for my having favor there. That is my God restoring me, making look good, because I've chosen to receive the forgiveness for my iniquity in the past. I bless you, Spirit. I bless you.
with embracing the joy of watching God give you favor because you've embraced forgiveness.